<laughs> well, I, I just wanted to, you know, just sit down and chat with you for a minute because we haven't seen you for a minute. So, yeah. but before yeah. I do that, I would like to share something with everyone here. Okay, just this is a testament to how cool this guy is. He's just such a great guy, such a trooper. The other day, I was um, in my office. And then I walked out to do something, and I came back in. It was one of those days where, you know, everything's going wrong. You know, thing, you know those days when things just don't turn out how they're supposed to? You think you're going to go do this, that, and that, and you end up doing that, this, and that? One of those days. So I was just kind of down, and I, I was like, well, let me check my messages. I checked my message, and somebody said, hi, KJ, this is Johnny Gill. <laughs> I was like, what? First thing, of course, was like, no, oh, that ain't Johnny calling me come on now come on now but then when I started to listen I was like okay he's saying things I think only Johnny Gill would say so this must be Johnny Gill and you know he called and I don't know if you all know but I'm also the program director for the station so I'm responsible for putting the music on the air and a bunch of other things I got 50 jobs here but that's cool but um, he, he called and he thanked me for playing his music isn't that amazing? I mean, you know, there's so many artists out there, you know, they think that, you know, you know you, you're supposed to play their music. You know, I got a hit record, you need to play it. But he called and he said, KJ, I just want to thank you for playing my music. You didn't have to do it. I've been out for a minute, I'm back. And I just wanted to share that with you to let you know the kind of person that he is. So thank you so you much. You are real cool. Thank you so much. Real cool. You know, I was just telling uh, Ken, one of the guys that worked with us, and you know, that day I had off, and he was just telling me who has just come and has been supportive and supporting us with this new record. And I said, you know, I'm from the old school. It's like, I don't need anybody to speak for me. I said, give me the numbers. I'm calling myself. And I said, I want to thank them myself because I, I truly, I, I know in this business, we see a lot of the young cats that I hear, and everybody's kind of got the business that's made such a drastic change. But one thing that I'm not about to allow the business to do, and that is to change me and who I am. So, yes. you know, and, and KJ, to uh, everybody that has just been so supportive, it's just been like a, um, it's just a blessing. And I, I don't know, I'm just sitting here and everybody goes, well, what are you so in awe of? I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting here just watching how everything has just taken place and taken off. And I'm just like sitting here going, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and so were we, right, ladies? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Johnny, you know, you've been off the scene for a while, and, you know, we 16 haven't seen years you in 16 counting. years. So we want to know, what have you been doing, man? I tour all year around. I'm wow. from, from Russia to Australia to Japan to, I'm all, I'm for the last 16 years, without recording. That's, I've just toured. Wow. What a blessing. What a blessing. Because sometimes people think when, you, you know, you don't have a record out that you're not doing anything. Right, but you're no. still You were still doing your music. Yeah, it just wasn't recording and into the recording business of it because we've seen how it changed so drastically. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, can I just say, um, yesterday I received a phone call from a dear friend. He's my brother. He was a part of the, one of the reasons why I went in after 16 years uh, to record a new CD. Um, a man by the name of Tyler Perry. He called me yesterday morning, and I sent him the, uh, the album last week, and he said to me, he says, Johnny, he says, I knew it would be good, but he said, excuse my expression, he says, Negro. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, what the hell? He says, I've been riding and just listening uh, to this album, and he started naming off the songs from the new CD, and I said, that made my day because I work so hard, and I want to make sure that I can please everyone that has been looking for Because all I did was record it just re regular, just great songs. There's nothing that's catering to any particular audience. It's just, here's some good music. I hope you enjoy it. And I never wavered from being who I am. So I hope everybody enjoy it September the 20th, because that's when it comes. And just enjoy it and embrace it, because I'm proud of it. What, we, what I've done with this, this new CD. And it's not to try to sell it. It's just simply because my soul and my heart was put into it. Wow. Well, tell, tell us about the CD. We're very excited. We're going to be at the stores, right, ladies, to get the CD? We're not going to do the bootleg thing. Pookie Nim and all that. We're going to go buy it, right? Thank you right? so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And that is so important because if it doesn't show in the numbers, they think that our music don't exist and it doesn't have any relevance. 
in the world and in the, uh, and with the young. There's a lot of young people that just don't know because a lot of this, the way the system sometimes is set, it doesn't allow them to be able to understand and see unless they learn it through their parents. But music is great music. It's just great music. And it should not have to be blocked and be categorized but in order for people to just enjoy it. So, you know, it takes people like you guys to go out and support what we're doing to make sure that the Teddy Pendergrasses and the Luke the Vandros and the Gerald Leverts, their legacy live Real on. Real music. Because that's where I come from. And um, it's important. Well, Johnny, you know, when we get in the mood, we <laughs> listen to your music. Wow. <laughs> what wow. music do you listen to to get into the mood? Do you listen to your own music to get I, in the mood? or You know, sometimes I do. Um, um, I have to stay away from it for many, for, for, you know, maybe a year or two. I'll stay away from uh, after I record simply because I'm, I'm still in the critiquing mode. So, but most of the time, I'm listening to Teddy to Luther. I'm listening to Jill Scott. I'm listening to Alicia Keys. I listen to Trey Song. I listen to Usher. I listen to them all because I love music. And I, you know, and when we look at some of the young cats that are out here, the only way that they're going to, because they're like anybody else, they have to continue to grow. And the only way that they're going to grow is someone has to lead and lead by example. So, you know, I think uh, at the end of the day, I look at these guys and I have nothing but the utmost respect for them. And I love the fact that they're out doing something with their lives. And that's a beautiful thing. And it's a blessing. So I don't knock them. I don't knock their music. And I think that music is a form of art. And it does come down to your, your taste of music, what you like. Just like when you buy clothes, you buy cars and houses. It's about what you like. But at the end of the day, there's no wrong in, in what you choose. It's just about what feels right for you. So I never knock their music. I know that it's their language that they speak. And we try to understand them. But there's a language that we speak and that we need to teach them and make sure that they understand. Because they are soon, sooner or later going to have to get older, too. And gonna have to learn how to say hey instead of saying yo what's up shorty to say hi hey pretty lady how are you doing okay <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> well Johnny your, your your new single in the mood I I just anyone who listens to my show every time I play it I always say this is my jam or I like this song so um, I remember when Doc Winter is, Doc Doc are you in the house still can we turn the lights up real quick Doc are you still here. I can't see. That's, that's oh, Doc that's Winter, the, okay? Yes. In case you don't know, he, w he was here on air many moons ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, he progressed with um, Clear Channel. Right now, he is like over, can you turn the lights back on? Yeah, thank you, sir. He's over all of the urban Clear Channel stations in the country. So wow. he's a very powerful wow. brother. So let's give it up to Doc. And he lives right here in Jacksonville. Don't yes. stalk him, right but he lives and, right here in Jacksonville. And here's the great thing about him. Look at him. What you see is what you get. Yeah, Just definitely. down to earth. And that's just who he is, humble. Mm. <laughs> you and would never see, if you walked into a room, you would never think <laughs> that he was somebody that's got that kind of power. He was someone that was in the position that he's in. He's just, this is who he is. And exactly. it's a blessing. It's a blessing. <laughs> and, you know, I, I was in my office, and I think, I think you, Doc, did you send me an MP3? He sent me an MP3. He was like, check this out, new Johnny Gill. And I was like, wow, Johnny, we haven't heard from him in a minute. Let's see what he's got going on. I put in that, turned on that MP3, and I was like, oh, my goodness. The thing I like about your new single is you're still you. You know, so many people, they're gone for a while, and, you know, they come back, and they're trying to be somebody who they're not. He was still him, but the music also was relevant to today. It has a 2011 vibe to it. Who did you work with? I wrote with that album? song with a friend of mine, um, Ralph Stacy and Dave Young. Uh, I work with Jimmy Dam and Terry Lewis, which you'll hear some of the stuff that they, they've done. Uh, Brian Michael Cox. I work with uh, Troy Taylor. I work with Wyclef. Um, so it was just a mixture. And all it was, when you put it all together, it's just great songs is what you're going to hear. Just mm -hmm. great music. <laughs> Now, you know, artists, we always see you guys on stage and sweating and all that stuff and performing, the ladies running up. What do you do, you know, a t what is a typical JG day like? I mean, when we're not looking. What, what do you like to do? Well, I wake up, first of all, in the morning, and thank God for that my eyes open, and then I look over at my, my beautiful lady, and I make sure that she's not going to be on one of those today and <laughs> 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 help make the day better. <laughs> And, um, uh, you know, I'm, I, I get up and I, I just work. I'm a, I'm a workaholic. I love what I do. 
And I'm the craziest thing. Uh, I, 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 you guys are gonna hear about this pretty soon because I'm working on. I'm getting ready to do a, a television special. Uh, that's going to be for. I mean, you're gonna see some quite a bit of people that have been in my life. That um, and there's gonna be some great surprises actually. Um, that's gonna come. Uh, we hopefully do it will release it before the 20th of September before the album release. But it's going to be a great piece. We have people like Arsenio Hall. We have Tyler, uh, obviously Tyler Perry to uh, it's a number of people that we're just uh, going to be a part of this uh, special. Um, and, and like I was saying, just saying I work every day and I work so hard. And another thing about me is I'm constantly counseling. And don't ask me how because I, I, I don't know how I got put in that position. But every day there's something that's going on with somebody's life. And sometimes I hear, you know, my fiance, she says, you know, you can't save the whole world. But... You know, I don't mind trying. I'm sorry, ladies. He said fiance. <laughs> but that's all good because we want Johnny to be happy, right? Y'all calm down. Still show him some love. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Johnny, I, what I'm going to do now, and, and he's been so nice to permit me to do this, I'm going to let a few of you ask Johnny a couple of questions, okay? So if you have a question, I'm coming out there right now. Raise your hand. And ooh, she is like ready right now. <laughs> I, <laughs> I couldn't even it. get off the stage. I love her energy. OK, what's your I name? I love it. My name is Sylvia. OK, what's your question? My question is, when you release this new CD, are you going to come to Jacksonville for a concert? I promise you I am, if without a doubt. <laughs> without Let's a doubt. This is just a little taste and just the beginning. Trust me. Yeah, because I saw you at the Soul Fest. Oh, you did? <laughs> All right, but it won't be like this, ladies. You'll uh -huh. never find anything like this, this That's intimate. Right. We have a question over here. Okay, excuse me. And what's your name? Can you stand up, please? What's your name? Nicole. Sorry, sorry. What's your favorite uh, New Edition song? Oh, wow, my favorite New Edition song. Uh, <laughs> Keith Zanarain, really? <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Um, Wow, yeah, it's a, like I have quite a few, but it probably can you stand the rain? Can you stand the rain? Yeah, yeah. And if it is in love, it's my oh, it's one of my new t new addition. Uh, but then I can go back. I'm you know uh, I love uh, Candy Girl, obviously, and My Secret. And so it's like you know I have a number of uh, great songs um, from New Edition even before I arrived. So you know I was I thank God that I had a great opportunity to be a part of. Um, a group such as New Edition, and uh, that has been also an intricate part of why I'm where I am today and who I am today, so it's a blessing. Question over here? I feel like Oprah. I'm going to run on. I believe I'm going to run on <laughs> over here. <laughs> Hi, my name is Asia. Um, speaking of the New Edition, do you know if you guys are going to do like a reunion? Well, we just did uh, the, the uh, Essence out? Festival, July uh, 3rd. And we are looking forward to doing uh, some more stuff together. Probably going to be somewhere around the early part of next year when we start mm. the actual tour. Um, uh, you know, I, I just started with this album, and I obviously have my obligations, and I have to fulfill with the uh, with the label. So, got to go through the process and get this done. And it's not something that I just got to get done. It's something that I have a passion for that I started, and I want to make sure that we we f we see this out, and then we'll move to the next phase, and that will be a new addition. Absolutely. Okay, ladies, two more questions. Two more. I'll get her first here. Okay. Stand up, please. What's your name? My name is Karen. Um, I want to know, would you and Stacey Lattishaw do another song together, be it gospel or secular music? I would love to. I would love to. If the op opportunity presents itself, I would definitely do something with her. Uh, she's been the beginning. She's been there since the beginning of my career, and you know, uh, so much is owed to her, but, and not only to, you know, not just to her, but obviously to God, but, and, you know, he bought her and bought me to her, so um, so I, I owe so much to her, and I would love to. I mean, obviously, w there's magic that's there, and I don't believe that it would ever leave if we was to get back mm -hmm. on in the studio again today. Yeah. Okay, we have one more question over here. Okay, excuse me. Your name? I'm Tiffany. Um, you're going to be in Ohio in two weeks at the OJ's Benefits Conference. Yes, yes, That absolutely. is my hometown, and I will be there. My dad would love to meet you, so I'm going to invite you to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you you know got the, you a, is that a home-cooked meal? Heart. Are you cooking? Yeah. Okay, her, you know. her mama biscuits. Her mama going to cook. <laughs> 
Okay. Yes, absolutely. You know a way to a man's heart is through his what? Okay. okay. <laughs> Don't start something you can't finish. <laughs> All right. Well, Johnny, we want to thank you so much. And um, we have something special for you right now. This, this lady over here said me. No, girlfriend, it's not you. Selfish. <laughs> Now I'm trying to get up here. We want to present you with this. Um, first of all, we just want to thank you for being you. We want to thank you for all the years that you've given us this great music. And this says, on this day, Thursday, July 28th, 2011, Clear Channel Communications, V101.5, presents a Lifetime Achievement Award to Johnny Gill for 30 years of musical excellence. <laughs> Yeah, that's strange. I'm only 25. I know. He told me he was 26 earlier. You kind of losing it now. You said 26 earlier. Oh. So I don't uh, know where the 30 years of music, I, maybe um, they got that wrong. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they can't count, but it's cool. I understand what they mean. 